um, uh, the title is Revisiting the Welfare Economics of Moral Hazards. I know moral hazard might not be a well-known terminology for most of you, but moral hazard is associated with health insurance. It's a problem that is associated with providing health insurance. And as we all know, providing health insurance is an important to uh, everyone. Uh, when you look for a job, you look for the plan of health insurance. Uh, countries are moving toward providing a universal health insurance, but the problem is that medical care cost is on a rise, and it's occupying a large part of the uh, GDP. And uh, providing health insurance, although it uh, solves a lot of problems, at the same time, it creates other problems, one of which is moral hazard. Moral hazard is basically over-utilizing the use of medical care because of the provision of health insurance, meaning that someone is paying the cost on behalf of you, and there are two types of moral hazard, the ex-ante moral hazard and the ex-post moral hazard. The ex-ante moral hazard is that when you have a health insurance, you don't have a preventive care. For example, you don't eat healthy food, or I should say the, the right quantity of healthy food, and you don't exercise, you don't take preventive care, which might lead to getting sick. The exposed moral hazard is that when you have a health insurance, you are over-utilizing the medical care. And I apply it to myself. I have a plan, and because I have a health insurance, uh, I don't hesitate to visit the doctor whenever I get sick. But if I'm paying out of pocket, I will count to 10. Now, the literature has a lot of research on how to reduce moral hazard. That's why we have different plans provided by different health insurance companies, such as the co-payment plans. They have capitation limits on how and by what amount to use your uh, medical care. What I'm trying to uh, prove uh, Sorry, I'm skipping uh, some slides just to keep it short. The aim of this paper is uh, providing an indemnity health insurance might reduce the problem of moral hazard. What is the indemnity health insurance? It is paying out of pocket when you get the service, and then you get reimbursed for what you have paid. The other plans, the co-payment plans, you go to the doctor, you just pay the co-payment, which is part of your uh, expenses, and then the health insurance pay the rest for the uh, uh, hospital or the physician. Now, I'm assuming that if you pay out of pocket at the beginning and then get reimbursed, that will reduce the moral hazard because you will be supervising the acts of the physician and you will be supervising your acts as well. How to prove this, I used a mathematical model based on the Maguire model, which is a very popular model in health insurance. Basically, the Maguire model says that when you, uh, when you buy a service, you have an expected utility that you get out of the service. This expected utility depends on the probability of ge getting sick, which is P, multiplied by the utility of being sick, and the utility of being sick depends on the quantity of medical care that you use, it's X, and your income when you are sick, plus the probability when you are healthy multiplied by the utility when you are healthy, which depends solely on your income when you are healthy. I remodified this model to take into account the indemnity health insurance, which means that Your utility when you are sick depends on your medical care use, your income when you are sick, and the full cost of payment, the full cost of your service. Plus, your utility when you are healthy depends on your income when you are healthy, plus the reimbursement you get back once you are healthy. I uh, took the first derivative of this 
equation and then recollect similar terms and I got this. This is the Maguire model when you use uh, a copayment plan, the first equation. The second equation when you use the indemnity health insurance. You can see from the right hand side of the equation, the first one it's equal to one. The second one, it's greater than one. It's one plus the probability of getting sick divided by the probability of getting sick. So in order to have the right-hand side higher, we need to have the left-hand ha side higher in order for the equality. Meaning the U, the utility when you are sick, must be higher, meaning you need to use less care because the utility is diminishing. The higher the utility level means that you are using less medical care. So we proved mathematically that using indemnity health insurance resulted in a less moral hazard, a less problem that is associated with uh, health insurance. The results that in order to equalize the marginal utility of health care with the expected marginal utility, we need to use less care. And this is what we want. We want to be treated and get the service, but at the same time, we want to get the right service. We don't want to overutilize medical care. We want to reduce medical care cost and get treated. Second, um, in order to, uh, this, uh, this uh, result is consistent with Neyman uh, result. This is a very uh, popular study by Neyman that explains why we are using less medical care because we are reducing the income effect. When someone is paying for you, you have an income effect. And when you pay yourself, you are reducing the income effect. You are trying to supervise your uh, uh, use of medical care. Now, those with higher probability of getting sick are more likely to reduce the problem of moral hazard. And those with pre-existing conditions are also more likely to reduce moral hazards. Now, the problem with this a plan is that for poor, how can, I they, how can they pay for their medical cost? Now, I suggest that having a saving account, that when you buy a plan uh, for health insurance and indemnity health insurance, you have a saving account, like a bank, you borrow money, and then once you use it, you will get reimbursed for it. This might solve the problem of being poor and not having an upfront money to pay for your medical cost. Uh, this uh, mathematical model, so uh, this is a summary of the uh, paper. You can find it in the book. I'm not going to go over it again. And uh, the, the value of this uh, paper is that uh, moving towards universal health insurance might increase the medical care cost uh, associated with the use of these uh, plans. Uh, we would suggest using indemnity health insurance and providing some other solutions for poor and at the same time uh, controlling the medical care cost. Thank you and uh, have a second.